The NES had a lot going for it. You know, wide variety of games, the industry leader for an entire generation, responsible for dispelling the stigma around video games that lingered in America after the crash of 83. But perhaps one of its most endearing traits was that it could almost handle the arcade hits of its time. Everything from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to Operation Wolf to Rampage eventually found their ways into our homes via that big gray box. Not every transition was flawless, though. It'd still be several years until the home consoles would catch up to their quarter-slurping equivalents. The NES version of Bubble Bobble lacks a little bit of the shine of its stand-up counterpart, but it's still an awesome game in any form. Bob and Bob went out for a walk. And then their girlfriends were abducted and they were turned into dinosaurs. Man, some neighborhoods are just rough. Anyway, they now find themselves trapped in a progression of mazes full of weird-looking hostile things that want to kill them, from mechanical wind-up things to these ghost things that throw rocks to whatever those squid-looking flying things are. Man, enemy design in the 80s must have been a great way to put your acid flashbacks to good use. Anyways, a newly minted dinosaur thing, you can neutralize these threats by the use of bubbles. And not the Powerpuff Girl with the pigtails, actual bubbles which you can exhale and use to capture foes. Yeah, that's gotta be some mucus. You may want to consult your physician if that lasts for longer than four hours. Anyway, once a foe is trapped thusly, all you have to do is pop the bubble by jumping on it, running at it, headbutting it, what have you, and said hostile is expelled violently and turned into an apple or cucumber or something that might be tasty, if you didn't know where that thing has been. Still points are points. In addition to their utility as monster capturing vessels, bubbles can also be used as transportation as hitting the jump button while landing on one allows you to jump on it without popping. Now that's gentle. Improving your bubble-blowing prowess are power-ups that can extend your firing range and rate, sneakers to speed up your movement, and some downright weird stuff like invincibility hearts, potions to take you to secret levels, and umbrellas that let you Mary Poppins past the next several floors. Yes, I just use Mary Poppins as a verb. Deal with it. But it's not all peaches and cream and apples and crystal things and the occasional freaking massive popsicle. No, you're on a mission to save your honey after all, and that'll require trekking through more than a hundred stages. Fortunately, you can continue from the beginning of any stage, and there's even a password system if you need to put the game down, tour a nearby arcade, and come back later. However, if you do leave the game, you will have that song stuck in your head. The theme to Bubble Bobble is one of the great earworms of all time, and you will struggle to keep it inside your brain. And if a couple bars leak out, every gamer who is shared in this bubble-bursting experience, and from my travels that's a very large number, will give you a look simultaneously broadcasting understanding and grievous contempt. And then they'll start whistling it too. The song is a disease. One that makes you wonder just how good a monster-turned-watermelon could possibly taste. The world may never know. <laughs>